it's all about beauty hauls a fashion lifestyle entrepreneurship business food vlogging ceo being your own boss yes i am blessed in any way and beauty so guys you welcome to my channel i am creation life for dahlia we going on with today's tutorial and um, it's going to be a very simple spring look with a ponytail slick ponytail so i'm bringing you guys through so i had to stop lip caring for myself and on my bare face going with the brow as my first tutorial so i am brushing through my brows and getting the brows ready so with my uh, brow ink i always start drawing my own natural brows so it's an ink from essence and using the second uh, brown color to create the inner part and also intensify it with this um brow pomade also from essence so that is normally how i go about my brow routine So now I had to use my concealer from LA Girl to really uh, shape up the eyebrow. So with all brow done uh, with the concealer, I'm now using a fluffy uh, brush to blend it in to have a natural brow. Uh, look yes my brows are done and we're now going on with the second which is the foundation uh routine so i am using my uh, l'oreal uh perfect finish match as my foundation today and that is exactly how i am doing it bringing it down to my neck area so it matches with my face So did that with the stippling brush. So now with the concealer routine, I am using my LA Girl concealer to conceal in. So yes, I am using the uh, staple brush to blend in every area that I conceal in to give it a very uh, smooth finish look. So that is exactly what I am doing and I had to now use my blend sponge to make it really seamless and natural. So that is what I am doing. So now I had to conceal in with my banana and luxury powder. So that is what I am also doing with the help of my uh, blending uh, sponge. So I had to use this powder uh, brush to really uh, blend all over. So now with my MAC um, contour powder, I am contouring every area that I need to uh, contour. So normally the hairline area and um, at the lower part jaw and also in my cheek uh, area uh, where I contour and also at my nostril. So now brushing through to give it a very seamless look. I am now using my uh, Nude by Nature loose powder to kind of uh blend in well and give it a very uh soft finish look avoiding all the harsh lines that i had to prevent and doing it all simultaneously through my neck area So 
so that will give your look very natural finish look so now we are on my um eye palette so this eye palette is from bh cosmetic and it's a new palette i will be using so now i am using my eye base also from essence to give the eye a very depth um look it pigments the powders when we are using them so now we are using this transition color in color brown and now blending in well with this lighter uh, nude color to give it a very uh, soft uh, transition look. So now with the crease area, I had to use more intensive uh, pigment. So it's a brick red color, one of my favorite colors. So I normally use this as my transition color. And now going on with the lead uh, with the color yellow. So that is what I am using as my lead uh, color today now using it on my brow bone to bring out the color of my brow bone and now intensifying the uh, outer part of the uh, eye with a pigment uh, that is more um, dark brown to intensify and give the eye a very good eye shape So now guys getting the uh, lip ready I had to dust in with some uh, powder because of the lip gloss. So now I am wearing my uh, lip liner. So I use this uh, dark uh, red uh, as my lip liner and also um, use the inner a very uh, lighter uh, pink color to make look it like an ombre look so now we are on the lash and guys i'm using this uh, from lancome um hypnos um mascara and i had to really uh create this uh eyeliner with a liquid eyeliner and guys i had to really uh be very very careful you know the hustle of using eyeliners liquid eyeliner so i did it off camera and now i am adhering my uh lash glue onto my eye so i am done with the, the eye uh, shape shaping so now i had to go on with the lower eye and also give it some kind of high uh, lightening with the same color palette that i use from the upper line i sorry guys so uh, i had to use the same brick red and also now dusting in the tear dots with a yellow uh, color so for more intensive uh, eye uh, popping i had to use the same yellow to create a highlighter in the corner eye area so now we are on the highlighting game and I'm using my Essence Highlighter to create my highlight. <laughs> yes, guys. So now I am rushing in also with a uh, N yx brush powder in color deep pink that is what i am using and with a fan brush uh, applying it so guys i had to now uh, soften it and give it a very soft uh, look so i use a um, powder a uh, brush to do that so that it gives it a very soft uh, look finish look so i had now to brush in my uh brows to give it that kind of a natural uh look especially with the fibers so with the same lancome hypnos uh, mascara i had to 
apply in the lower part and also reapply at the upper part of the eyelash that's uh the force is to give it a very intensive um eye uh brow how do we call it to give it a more intensive lash look yes guys that uh, that's what i intended to do <laughs> So now with the hair routine, yes guys, I had to pull the pony uh, together. So we are starting with the steps on achieving this very sleek uh, pony look. So guys, this is something that I got from uh, Taf, uh, from Schwarzkopf. It's a styling gel, but normally um, as an edge contour and it's really good. So what I did is to intensify the gel, I added the normal uh, Taf, um styling gel to the so guys, I normally dislike the kind of dry look the styling gel gives. So with this combination makes my uh, pony uh, really slick and, uh, you know, prevents that kind of breakage. And so, uh, so far, so good. So guys, with my comb, I brush, I had to brush through and uh, try to pull it all together. I normally uh, press it with my hands like that for it all to stay well pressed <laughs> together. You know, my hair is not so uh, lengthy. I am regrowing them all together. I used to have a very long hair, but you know, I do anything with my hair. I had to cut it really short and I'm now regrowing it. So I love the stick that my hair is pulling it all together, guys. Yes. So now I am using the threading method. I really love using the threading method because it puts the hair really uh, well together and also prevents it from breaking as with the rubber uh, ones. The rubber ones pulls a lot of hair away. So I am really comfortable with the threading method when I am pulling my pony together. It's really practical for me. Really, really practical for me, guys. So now applying my gel control at my edges. Guys, that's what I normally do when I want to pull my edges really well flick in place. So I had to use the toothbrush and also with the gel control to create some kind of a uh, flicky uh, baby hair in place it's really something that prevents the hair from looking like awkward so i really do this to my edges so as i always say it's a matter of preference it's always a matter of preference so choose it so fashion in style <laughs> guys i had to wear this a uh, necklace to complement the kind of a uh, look that i wanted today so had to also uh, pull through with this beautiful uh, earrings uh, together So guys, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Yes, it's Creation Life for Delia, bringing us to with the ponytail. So this is really the ponytails that I do myself as a hairstylist, a beautician. That is what I do. So I'm recommending this Pantaneing Air Oil. It's really recommendable for such a hair. It really makes the hair sleek and always in place without becoming a flawless or uh, getting off you know what i mean it always keeps the ponytail or hair in general in slick 
so yes this is my fix uh, in clips so they are really really easy to uh, fix in into your ponytail regardless of how short your hair is it's really free and without stress guys so uh you can see how i just had to fix it through and it doesn't really go off trust you me guys this pins inside this clip ins inside makes it really secure really really secure so yes guys i am done within one to two minutes my uh, ponytail is fixed yes guys So yes, 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 guys. I had to even comb through it. Yes, guys. So um, after combing through it, it was really looking sleek. Yes, guys. That is how I prepare my uh, ponytail. So guys, we're going on still with the makeup routine. I hadn't even applied my uh, fixing spray, so I had to do that and i think so far we are through with the makeup for today as with my hair uh, routine today so guys i am so happy with this 30 inches uh ponytail that i made so i had to show you guys through the length how lengthy it looks so i have it also in different lengths and also in the curly of afro uh big uh ponytails are also available i have models to show and me as a model also to show you guys so i had to go through with this bunky <laughs> big earring so guys i always say it's a matter of preference so to get it a very classic look you can also wear dainty and anything goes guys so yes guys i really enjoyed uh this uh ponytail <laughs> so guys are uh, trying to show you through the makeup for today hope you enjoyed this soft simple spring spring makeup look and hair for the spring thanks for watching guys love you